We try to be so many things to so many people. We set out to accomplish more in one day than 24 hours feasibly allows. You know I'm talking to you. Our to-do lists that include work, home, friends, family, church, wish list items would dominate our lives if that is all we focused on. Today, I want to remind you that your to-do list may be where a feeling of accomplishment comes from, but it is not where the moments you will truly remember come from. Starting a podcast is something that I had wanted to do since the first week I started listening to podcasts last year. So of course, I added it to my to-do list. I was fortunate enough to be introduced to an amazing podcast hope coach that helped me get it launched. Or honestly, it would still be on my to-do list. I love doing this podcast. I love the feedback that I get from people. And come on, who wouldn't like the opportunity to just spout off all your thoughts and opinions without anyone being able to interrupt or disagree with you? It's amazing. When I first started, I didn't want to overcommit. And so if you look at the settings or the details or wherever you find the information on the podcast, it'll say that an episode comes out bi-weekly. I wasn't great at that at first, but then I did start to get on a roll and I was getting one out bi-weekly. Then I started getting one out weekly and actually on the same day each week. Something about that just made me feel like I was winning. This week, I missed my Tuesday delivery. I have four speaking engagements in a two-week period. And they found a mass inside the abdomen of my 15-year-old dog. So it's been a little hectic, to say the least. I delivered one of the speeches while my dog was having her surgery. Poor girl had a softball-sized mass on her spleen. At the end of my speech, I was mentioning this podcast, and I mentioned that episodes typically come out on Tuesdays, but that I hadn't gotten one out this week. A woman looked at me and said, you kind of have a lot going on with your dog. You really should give yourself a break. She didn't even know about the other three speeches and the other things that are going on in my life this week, but she was absolutely right. I do need to give myself a break, but it's not just me. We all need to give ourselves a break. The construction industry post COVID has been insane. The hours that we're working, the demands from our clients, the difficulties in getting shipments and figuring out schedules. It's a lot. And if you're listening to this podcast, you're one of those people who puts in the extra effort who goes the extra mile, who always has more on your to-do list than you could possibly, possibly accomplish. And when it comes to work, you go above and beyond to prove that you deserve the position that you have and that you are ready for the next challenge or the next rung on the ladder. What you do never seems like enough. And many days, instead of seeing what you've accomplished, you instead see what remains on the to-do list. Today, I just want to tell you, give yourself a break. You deserve it. 